Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a link to a third-party website in your menu. And this is something that I've found over time is that the menu feature in Wix Studio is not the most straightforward thing. So I'm going to break it down and show you how you can create this link and have it be in the main menu, and it can also be in your sub-menu. So I'm in my Wix Studio website here, and the first thing I need to do is click on my menu, and then I get this option that says Manage Menu. So if I click in here, I see my pages, and I'm going to add an item. And when I click this, I get a few different options. So the link option is the one that we're gonna talk about today, but there are other options in here for main pages, dynamic pages, a sub-menu title, title, and a mega menu. The mega menu only works on desktop, it doesn't work on mobile, just FYI. So the link option, we're going to click this. Once I pull this up, then I get these different options. And I'm going to do a web address because I want this to go outside of my website somewhere else. And so I've got my KDC Marketing website here. So I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to paste it into this box. And then I'm going to click Done. I do want this to open in a new window. So I'm going to click Done. And you'll notice that my link has showed up here, and it wants me to rename it. So I'm going to call this KDC. So I've got my link here, and it showed up in the main navigation now that I have it linked, but I can also move it around. So I'm going to move it above the contact, and then I'm going to actually nest it under the about. So if I click on the three dots, I'm going to move under about here. It'll be a sub-menu page. I can also move it under testimonials or move it out of about. So I'm going to move it under testimonials to nest it one more time. So now I'm going to click preview. And if I hover over my About section and then go to Testimonials, there it is. And if I click it, sure enough, it opens up to my website link. So let me go back in here and uh, just explain something. So it's nested under here. If I want to get it back out, I can also drag it out. I don't have to click the three dots, but I can click the three dots from here. I can also change the link and rename it. But what you want to do is if you want to create a link to a new web page, you want to create the link first, and then you can worry about where to put that link. So if you want it in the main navigation, that's where it will start. If you want it as a sub-menu item, that's where it will start. Or then you can nest it, sorry. You can nest it under your sub-menu item. If you want it nested three levels down, then you just move it under about, and then move it under the next page, and now it's three levels down. So you create your link first, then you put it where it goes. If you want to just have a placeholder here that's a drop-down that isn't actually a page, that would be the submenu title. So the submenu title would just be the title for the submenu, and then you can put the submenu pages underneath. The way that this is currently set up right now, these actually are pages. So if I click them, it goes to an about page, but there's also a, service, a services page, a testimonials page. And same with the contact. If I click this, it goes to the contact page. So there are a lot of different ways you can do this, but uh, the link option is a good option if you need to link somewhere else to a third-party website. And uh, if you want to just have a sub-menu title, then you can use this one. And then if you want to add your main pages, which are over here, these are your main pages, and then underneath that is your dynamic pages. So you'll kind of know what pages you have available. Um, and you do have to add these to the menu in order for them to show up before you can place them. If you don't add them here, even though they exist over here, then it won't work. You have to add them to your menu first, and then you can, you can put them wherever you want. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, the linking option is great if you do want to link outside. And uh, the menu can be a little complicated, so just always start in here and then work from there. All right, well, that's what I have for today, and I will see you guys in the next video.